What's going on, my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Gary with Game of the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because we got a heck of a video, okay? We're gonna be playing around with Thunderer, which is one of my favorite cards. It's a super fun card, super versatile. You can do a lot with it. Uh, it's just, for lack of a better word, it's just not that good, right? It's just not in the meta. You don't see it often, but with when coupled, with the right support cards, you can actually create a pretty interesting and pretty powerful deck. We're going to be going up against three very different accounts, three different games uh, with a low level, high level, and average level account and seeing how Thunderer fares and trying to figure out what is the best deck and best cards to put with Thunderer. So guys, grab your coffee, grab your device, and let's head on down to Game by the Beach. Welcome back once again, fellas. We're going to be jumping into a brand new deck today that's going to be boosted by this week's Faction Booster. It's the new season, so I'm very excited to be playing around with some different decks, and today's deck is definitely outside the realm of a normal meta deck. That's right. We're going to be rocking with Thunderer, and we're going to be starting off with a little replay because this is the first game that I played with this deck. And because it's the new season, our opponents are going to be all over the place. This guy is pretty well below our account. He does have a level 9 Demon Hunter, which is the same level as mine. But I'll tell you right now, I've got about triple his, his crit. And my equipment is far, far superior. But either way, I thought this was a good game to start this video off with. We'll get at least two games in, maybe even three games in. For this video, uh, which after this one will both be played live. So, I just wanted to talk about what this deck is supposed to do while we're playing it correctly. So, Thunderer, my Thunderer is a level 14. I haven't yet leveled him up to 15 max. I feel like I should have at some point, but we haven't done so yet. We do have a decent amount of gold, and we actually have a ton of of golden tickets to where if you use those for co-op you get a bunch of gold what do you get uh, every time you get like twenty thousand gold if you use a ticket and play with a clan member or something so your gold can go up exponentially very quickly um so maybe we should level them up depending on how this deck works in the rest of the games in this video but yeah we've got ours to level three already we've got dryad in here sword uh, Trapper, as well as Harlequin. And we're pretty much just going to be focusing on getting our Thunderers on our bonus tiles. So that's either J tiles or our amulet, uh, our magic amulet tiles, which I only have a level one epic magic amulet. So it's not going to be super, super useful. So I'm definitely going to be infinitely more inclined to use the J tiles rather than the magic amulet tiles. But Whatever kind of shows up. So here we go spamming, okay? We've already got a very high stack on that one Thunderer because he was the only one on our board and we did have an Ascended Blue uh, blue Sword on our board as well. So that was the only one getting hit. We're already at seven. We would have been at eight if he, we hadn't taken a hit from, from his Magic Sword. Um, but yeah, we're in a pretty good spot. And Thunderer, it needs a lot of help. So... It needs to be that full Sword Ascension 10 stack. Also with an extra support. Chemist, Slow, um, Trapper, which does both Slow and Decreased Shield for Monsters. It needs a lot. We're going to get ours to level 4. If you don't remember playing Thunderer early on, I used to love Thunderer. It's kind of essential to get your Thunderer to a 4 maybe even a five, but at the very least a three, I would say, in order for that sword to be even in the realm of effective, okay? You really do need to focus some, some time and effort on getting that guy up. So we've got one rank four on a tile. We actually have a rank two on that magic amulet tile, which again, isn't super, super important, but definitely helpful. And I'm just gonna keep on spamming out our swords, merging out, combining out, We've got three red ascended swords, which I'm keeping on my board as a at at the time being, uh, for the time being, because he also has sword. So 
if he can't get any of his sword stacks going on his demon hunters, it's going to be very, very effective for us to, to try and take this guy out. Puppeteer, we're going to hit our J. He's almost going to get moved. And he's actually using that left side talent, right? Absorption of evil. Because you can tell that rank 5 demon hunter that he has already has a 12 stack, which is very good. Um, but everything else is a, is a pretty low stack. So the next absorption is going to go to that rank 1 that he has on his board. Uh, and then he might combine out. We'll have to see. We'll wait until he gets that one absorb on that rank 1 just to prove that I know what I'm talking about. There it is. Okay, there we go. And uh, at this point, I'm just going to spam out some of our swords. We've got a rank 3 Thunderer on that tile right there. We're going to combine out some more swords here. And I'm not so worried. we got a rank 4 Trapper, which is pretty good. Kind of similar to the Thunderer that a rank 4 and 5 uh, Trapper is where he really uh, shows his benefit. Okay, rank 3 is good, but 4 and 5 is very, very good. Um... But yeah, we're just going to keep on combining out. We've got a rank 3 sword right there. We're going to combine that out. Rank 4 ascended sword. Not the best thing in the world, but not the end of the world either. And with 17 seconds, 15 seconds now, my man is starting to have a little bit of trouble. And we do have Bedlam coming up very, very shortly. So I think what we're going to do, because this game obviously went by very quickly, no, the game's not quite over yet, but if he gets switched, it's kind of over. Um, we're actually going to come out of this game and queue right in, and I'll actually let you guys sit with me, hang out with me while we queue in, so that even though we have a game here that's a little bit unfair, certainly unfair, uh, for our advantage, uh... Whatever the next opponent is, you guys will see I'm not being selective about who I'm playing. This was just the first game that I played with this deck, so I figured I'd show it off. The next game is going to be the second game that we played with this deck, and it's going to be against whoever. So if it's like wildly unmatched or unfavorable of a matchup for us, we'll see what we can do. If it's another really easy match, maybe we'll be able to get into a third game. But either way, that's going to be the game that we that we queue into. And if we look at our board, we now have a rank 3 on a tile. We have a rank 4 on a tile. We've got a rank 2 over there on a tile. My man's working really hard. I think I ended up like going and getting a drink of water or something when I was playing this game. Under a 1,000 crit, I understand, right? I just wanted to show this deck off for the first time playing it. And that's what it looked like, okay? You can tell I have not played another game uh, with that deck, right? So let's jump in, right? Oh, nope, nope, let's not buy something random. Do I have a thing here? No, I don't. Let's jump right in, see if we can queue in against an opponent. Am I, am I playing the right deck? Yes, I am against an opponent that is at least a little similar to us. But guys, if you are enjoying this video, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, like the video, and if you're gonna be making any in-game purchases, it is the new season uh, after all. So if you're gonna be buying the premium pass, Hero Tavern Pass, Platinum, anything like that, make sure that you guys are going through my games and using code BEACH because it is the best way to support your favorite content creators uh, and enables them to continue making the content that you guys enjoy so much. All right, so let's get going into this game here. We've got a Max Cultist, level two gadget, decent equipment. It's gonna be a tall task. The good news, all right, let's go over the good news first. He doesn't have sword, so realistically we should have a pretty good chance at getting our Thunderers to a high sword ascension. That's the good news. We have a, a double tile here. We got a bunch of other tiles everywhere else. He's rocking Chemist plus, oh, he does have Monsters of the Abyss as his third talent. So we're going to have to deal with that a little bit, but it could be a lot worse so let's just keep on going here i'm trying to combine out just in order to get a nice looking chemist uh, or a cultist thunderer there's a there's a not a thunderer a pretzel a trapper so far not so good so far not so good okay now we've got a man's over there so let's just do a little bit of this a little bit of this a little bit of this we'll go here and now we can go um, I'll do this. We'll go there. We'll go here, I guess. 
And at least we got started a little bit. This guy, we've got four chances that that's the one that's going to get hit. We've got two ascended swords. That should be okay. And I don't know. What do you guys think are the chances? Can we beat a Max Cultist? That's a heck of a clickbait video if we can do it. Can we beat a Max Cultist with Thunder? Wait and find out because you're going to find out today, fellas. We're going to find out very very shortly and uh yeah unfortunately these guys are not who i want i'd probably rather combine those out sooner rather than later so i'm probably going to do that now actually i just have no interest in having these guys randomly uh in a different location if i get another another thunderer in a square over there i'm all for it this guy's already at three um but in terms of having a rank one and a rank two stealing sword ascensions from this guy this guy's now at a four I don't want you there. I don't like you there. I don't care. Rank four, we're going to merge these out. Rank four, kind of a massive bummer, to be honest. We can do this. At least this guy will be a high ascension. Now we've only got three other units. So now we've got the sword ascensions. This guy is going to get to max sword ascension very, very shortly. Okay, so that's... Really, really good. And then with us just holding off and waiting for that guy to get to 10 stacks, we're also going to be able to get a bunch of mana in that time. And then we can kind of go from there. This guy, we're not really going to care about sword stacks uh, as an aggressor as, uh, as it pertains to our opponent. Because he does have cleanse. Oops, correct. He's got cleansing sacrifice. So he's going to be able to cleanse his cultists and get rid of those debuffs anyway so i don't really care about that we're gonna start going right now because this guy's at a 10 stack already so i'm just gonna do that can we get another uh cultist not cultist i keep wanting to say cultist because we're playing against cultist thunderer on one of these can we do that i really wish that was a thunderer that'd be so stinking fun all right we can at least use some dryads now so we can do a little bit of this we can do a little bit of this Hit our J just, in, just to make sure that we take out Bedlam before it hits us. That's always a good thing. And uh, let's see. Thunder over there. No, sir. So we're going to go. I'm actually going to do this. Thunder in the corner. Yes, sir. I'll do this. I'll do that. I'm actually going to go there. I'll merge these out. Let's get back to maxing out our Thunder as soon as we can. And you know what? This guy's on a sword stack. 10, 10 sword stack as well as a, uh, a J tile. Like we were talking about, we should really try and get him to a rank 5 ASAP. I think that should probably be our priority. There seems to be an Oliver Hare in my drink. Alright, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to go here. We're going to be very close now because we can do... We can do this. Yeah, perfect. So we can do that, that. We're going to go there. Beautiful. We'll do that. We'll do that. Rank 5. 17 seconds until uh, Tamer, which should be very good. It actually works out well that we've got a high-ranking Trapper on our board also. So I'm not really mad about that. The next guy that I would want to get high-ranking is that. Remember... Our J tiles are way more beneficial than our um, than our uh, magic amulet tiles. Level one epic, just not going to be super super effective. Um, but J tile level fourteen, a little bit better. I really hope that we can get her to level fifteen eventually. That would be super fun. But I like it. I like where we're at. We haven't leveled up our trapper at all. I'm digging for some dryads. I'm just going to do this. That actually works out well. Let's get one more dryad. Ooh. Dryad, baby. Ooh. I'm just going to merge these out. Rank two right there. I'll hit my... I think we'll be able to get back to our... Our J by the end of this wave. I guess we'll just merge these out for now. I don't really care about these. I'm going to merge those out. Rank 3 sword. Is that what I wanted? Absolutely not. Another rank 2 thunderer. 
We just need a couple of dryads. Here we go. Let's get. We've got a bunch of dryads here. We did get back to Jay. Look at that timing, fellas. So I'm gonna go um, here. Should we try and get that guy to five? I feel like we talked a lot about getting him to five, getting Thunderers to five. So it would probably be worthwhile. We're starting to have a little bit of trouble here. Okay. Let's do our trapper. Bugger. Bugger. Uh. Lion, you bum. Okay, another dryad's fine. Guess we're doing this for no apparent reason. Uh, yeah, let's do this because you know what? We don't need them. Another rank four trapper is an excellent pull from us. 10 seconds until assassin here. And look at how far we've fallen. So we might as well keep our board full. Seven mil versus one mil, yikes. We got the merge right there, which was cool. Keep our board full. We're definitely going to do that. Get back to filling our poor, our board again. Dark Priest and King Pudding, super, super bad for us. We're going to try and keep hitting our J as much as possible. But, oh my gosh, we're falling off fast. He's also got um, Chemist in his deck. So he's doing extra damage, extra damage. Here comes Abyss. Hitting our J right now. Work back in all those abysses. Abyss I don't know. Go in here. No reason not to. Okay, we'll do another rank three. I feel like it could be a lot worse, but we need a push. We definitely need a push of some sort to fight back. Six seconds. Let's build a little bit of mana for the last six seconds. We're going to have to hit our... RJ, but we might as well hit it when both of our bosses are on the table. So, 27 million. Holy hera. There's two bosses. We might lose to this. Trapper shouldn't ma matter against Dark Priest. So, we are going to have to do that. We're going to do that. At least we don't have to deal with Dark Priest anymore, but we're still going to have to take this madness out. Five mil is a lot. I'm going to hit my J. Can we get another pretzel here just to slow everything down, help everything out? Did that guy get hit by pudding? Yes, he did. That is horrible. All right, we're going to have to go here. We're going to have to do... Uh, I don't even know. I'm just going to merge these out. I'm not even sure what I'm hoping for. Is he having any trouble? Not really. <laughs> not really. J, baby, J. One, one mil to go through. Thunderer, do your best. 13 seconds. And there is an L. Hit him with a good game. Very, very unfortunate right there. So I would say that's a pretty good leap for us. You saw a game that was totally unfair in our favor. And now we have a game, I don't want to say totally unfair, but it's a Max Cultist against a card that you would never see on the ladder. Uh, that's a tough matchup for us. Let's jump into one more game here. See how we do with somewhere in between those two matchups and maybe just maybe we can come away with a win third and final game here we go Ooh, we've got three bonus doubled bonus tiles come on baby i think this is probably the most even matchup we've had tough one right here max max although they are epic so we can take what we can get um but in terms of a boreas deck that's as much as we can hope for. Boreas, Max Grindstone, Max Talents Grindstone. I like it. This guy's clearly trying something a little bit different. So are we, of course. Um, so we're going to have to see. Okay, we're going to hit, keep hitting our J. Our main and only priority right now is getting... 
getting a Thunderer on each of those three bonus tiles. I want all three of them to be a level five. This is the only thing that's tough. We play with these different cards and we know that they're going to be weak. We know that their damage output is going to be lower than others. But you also hope that you can deal with everything else that comes with playing these decks. We don't have a cleanse. So that means that every single time that we go up against Dark Priest, a Witch player, a Shaman player, King Pudding, it's just so detrimental to us that it's really, really tough to play these decks against anyone in the meta. I don't know. It's just, it's one thing that you can deal with just a card that's outside the meta, a lower damage card. It's one thing if you can try and deal with those, but it's a whole nother thing to try and then also deal with all the debuffs that you can't even attempt to try and uh, combat. I don't know. I feel like that's a little bit unfortunate to say the least to have such an uphill battle no matter what so we got warlock here i'm gonna level up my war my uh, my warlock i'm gonna level up my warlock i'm gonna level up my thunderer we've got two out of the three that are leveled up we got a third over here i think we're probably just gonna level these guys out we can go here and here this is a pretty solid start i'm gonna do a couple of these guys i was looking for some ascended Thunderers, no, or Ascended uh, Swords, rather. No such luck yet. Uh, we're definitely just going to level this guy up to get this this space open again, as well as um, just do a couple of merges for our swords, which I think should be pretty good. One minute until... One minute until Puppeteer. Got another one here. I'm just going to merge those out. I'm, I'm going to merge towards it, I guess. We'll hopefully turn that into a Dryad and then turn this guy into a into a five. That would be great. We're going to go there. I'm going to have to merge these out. They're just kind of getting in the way at this point. Another Thunderer there that I'm going to try and get, uh, get out of the way at some point. And let's see. You can put your bets, at, bets in now. How are we going to do in this game? Can we overcome... All the adversity that we're going to have to deal with. We're going to go here. We're going to go here. Definitely going to go there. We've still got some open tiles here. So let's uh, let's spam a little bit before we end up moving it. Just so that we have the highest possible chance that we got a Thunder there, which we did not. We're going to do this. Now we got a Thunderer, which is great. And realistically, we should be focusing on the swords. Okay, so we're going to go here. Another blue ascended sword is great. Let's do a thunderer. Let's do puppeteer. Take it out with our war. I keep saying warlock. Take it out with our um, J. And this is pretty solid. Two red swords that are constantly attacking him. Two blue swords that are constantly benefiting us. Now we've got three red swords. I'm going to try and get one more unit on my board. Another Thunderer. I'm just going to combine those out. I'm going to do another Sword. And here we go. Okay. This is all we can ever do. We've got great tiles on our boards. We've already got a rank 5. we got Tribunal in 45 seconds. Which we should be able to use our J in order to take out Tribunal before we take a hit. Hopefully he takes a hit. Boreas is pretty good against bosses. Not so much against waves. Thunderer, honestly, is kind of bad against both. But uh, either way, I'll take it. We can take whatever we can get, right? Only a level 11 minimum Boreas, so I'm happy about that. I guess I'll fill my board with one more unit. We're going to combine those out. Another Thunderer is fine. Do we have any 10 stack uh, uh, Thunderers right now? I don't believe so. He does actually have a Portal Keeper, so he's probably protecting against my Sword Ascensions. I just realized that. He's also got Scrapper. Hit RJ right here. Neither of us, neither of us took hits right there. I'm probably just going to have to focus on these. I'm going to go here. Merge those out. Merge these out. Another J. A J Dryad. 
Let's max out our pretzel. Virus in 40 seconds. Okay, I think we're back at a point where we need to build mana. 35 seconds. I can hit my J and still be back before before virus. Um, yeah, I'm very interested to see where we're at. I don't know where my sword stacks are for like my high ranking ones, but we should really have at least a couple of those threes. This guy's only a two at four, probably closer to five, right? Th these are only rank threes. Seven seconds. I'm going to hit my J at the end of this wave rather than on the boss just to really finish the wave off strong. 400. Hey, we won that wave, technically. Let's see what we have to merge out. <clears throat> I did not want to do that. We had to. Oh, that's terrible. All right. Well, we're going to go here. We're going to go here. We're going to go there. Do a couple of swords here. We're going to go here. Another rank 4 J. Do a bunch more swords, because that's what we need to do. Uh, we'll merge those out. Anything else I can do here? I guess we have to do that. I'm going to have to merge these out. Gorgon's not the end of the world. We might be able to get to... Hmm. A rank four five something here another pretzel again is not too too shabby we need one more dryad this guy's a tennis 10 stack we need one more dryad in order to get that guy up to five as well beautiful okay gorgon shouldn't be a problem gorgon shouldn't be a problem three mil versus five mil did i see that correctly his boreas is actually spamming me pretty good that gore that uh gorgon Froze him pretty well, but it shouldn't be a problem. 1.5 to go through. I know it goes in droves, but he's going to be able to take it out. And here we go. We got a rank 5. We got a rank 5. Rank 4. Rank 4 sword, which is which is terrible. But we've got three decent ranked up pretzels. 40 seconds. I'm going to try and use my J tactfully when I see something. I'm just going to merge the Harlequins. Okay. Let's hit RJ now. 30 seconds. We should be able to get back to it. I'm going to use my swords once again. Another J right there. We're going to do some more swords. Or I keep calling Dryads Js. I'm like losing my mind, dude. Um, I feel like this guy is actually a decent high ranking in swords. And that is a victory. Hit him with a good game. Again, he's got a little bit lower crit. But, I mean, 2,000 crit is definitely well better than under 1,000 crit. And uh, a level 11 Boreas is definitely much more in our realm than... Actually, it's level 12 Boreas, rather than a max cultist. So, three games, three very different levels. Uh, one, hopefully, rather entertaining video. Thunderer, fellas, let me know what you think. I'm always on the search for the best Thunderer deck, the best Pyrotechnic deck. I feel like it's always somewhat of this combination, whether it's Sword plus Trapper, or maybe, you know, um, Knight Statue in there, or maybe you're throwing Witch in there, some kind of combination with those, the best support cards, uh, and making those undervalued damage cards really shine, which is just, it's a passion of mine. That's really fun for me to let uh, Thunderer shine and make it work. Let uh, Pyro shine and make it work. Let me know what your best version of those decks are. But guys, that is going to be the end of this YouTube video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Now I'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video.